Hi friends, this is Kishore and you are watching Kishore Vlogs. This video is all about an update on what has been happening regarding the digital sky platform, the registration of drones and all those stuffs. Uh, I had made two videos and I have not done anything for last almost a month for um, uh, the reason that I was waiting that something would happen. I received lots of comments and emails and queries related to the drone registration and import of drones and all those things which I tried to answer uh, with whatever I knew. So now what's the latest update? The latest update is there's no update. Site is working okay but none of the manufacturers have registered. So there is no way that we can register our drone. When we go to fill up the registration process or import uh, process then it asks for the registration of manufacturers. Now, why are these manufacturers not registering? I had contacted DJI support a month back and asked them what was happening, why they are not registering. They told that they are just still studying the new drone policy. Uh, see, drones are used around the world. Even in US it's used, most of the developed countries it's used. There are some regulations and these manufacturers have made their drones as per international standards. So every country may have its own security concerns and all those things. But I am not able to understand why this is not moving forward in India. Could be some reasons. So uh, what I basically could understand is first thing is the drone policy were not really made after going through the market conditions, other countries, what they are following, discussion with the manufacturers. Now all of a sudden suppose India says that okay your drone shouldn't go above 60 meters, your drone should be controlled by the government, you, uh, you cannot take off or uh, without the permission. All those things cannot happen all of a sudden. Actually there should be some international standards which most of these drone companies, other countries are following and we may have to work accordingly. Otherwise, what would happen is we will have to wait for some Indian manufacturers or government of India for some startups or anything. They will start making drones as per the Indian drone policy and we will have to use those things. Now, that's not going to work well. Um, let's see what's happening. Now, the biggest problem is flying drones in India is illegal as of now because you have not registered your drone and you don't have a UID. Importing drones to India is illegal because you are not able to register that in the digital sky platform. Still people fly drone, I do fly drone. Last um, week I was in um, Kannur, I could fly drone. But again we fly drone making sure that we don't break any of those mentioned rules and regulations. We don't fly drones at a high secure area near the airport uh, invading others privacy or creating others uh, trouble for others so intention of for me or people like me flying drones is to take good videos from an aerial view that's what we do so let's um, do it safely till all this uh, process is sorted out I am very much sure that there would be a lot of amendments happening in the uh, drone policy or the manufacturers are closely working with um, the government of India. Definitely India is a very big market. I don't think a DJI would ditch India uh, for um, because of this drone policy. It would be a big uh, problem here. Uh, so that's the update. Uh, I would suggest I get a lot of emails asking whether I can uh, bring drone to India, many foreigners, foreigners, foreign tourists coming to India. So I would suggest it's, a, it's risky. Uh, there are chances that your drone get confiscated or if you are a foreigner, maybe you can uh, surrender your drone at the customs and take it back when you go back, but you cannot use the drone. Again, suppose you put it in your baggage and it somehow comes in. You have to be really careful when you fly the drone. Don't fly the drone in any sensitive area or in front of a police station because as per the law, you have to go and take permissions and a lot of all those things are there. And moreover, the drone is not registered in the digital sky platform. So that's the problem now. So use safely 
and um, don't try to import or bring in drones that's the update let's wait and see i have tweeted done a couple of tweets actually i would request you guys to retweet all those um, i'll put the link of the tweet in the description if you are on twitter please retweet it's uh, to dji support and suresh prabhu the aviation minister hopefully they will do something uh, let's hope for the best that's a, that was a quick update on digital sky platform in india let's hope things move fast and we are able to register our drones and fly safely without any stress or tension whether the police or somebody would come and catch us or confiscate our drone so that's all for now hope you enjoyed this video please like share comment subscribe if you are new here bye for now take care I'm the landscape you need to see You are the artist